This historic day comes after a year where the Black Lives Matter movement exploded across the country, addressing several instances of racial injustice. Now, the national conversation is also bringing some new scrutiny to how black history is taught in schools. News 6's Carolina Cardona spoke to local educators working to ramp up black history lessons. The concern is the world we live in, how do we justify burning a city? How do we justify innocent police officers being executed? How do we justify that people can wake up in the morning and feel that they're going to be judged differently because of the color of their skin? Those are the concerns of Joe Comiskey students at Winter Springs High School in Seminole County, where he's a history teacher. What is the most important thing to incorporate in your teachings? It's about exposing the kids to more information, um, allowing them to mold their own opinions. Um, the events of 2020 absolutely had an impact. But I think the words of Dr. King, out of a mountain of despair, a stone of hope. So my question to the students right now is, are you going to be that stone of hope? And if you are, how are you going to do that? As we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy, Comiskey says it's an educator's job to teach their students how they can bring the community together despite differences in opinion, race, or political beliefs. People should be judged on the character of their actions. And that's what Dr. King told us. We're students of history, and we're living in history right now. And that we can't be afraid to give the students a platform to discuss and learn about what's going on and how do we move forward. And as we move forward, the Brevard County Federation of Teachers is pushing for the school district to include in their curriculum the life work of the couple referred to as the martyrs of the civil rights movement, Harry T. and Harriet V. Moore. Their voices silenced Christmas Eve 1951 after a bomb left underneath their home exploded. Their contributions to the civil rights movement in Florida and across the country were enormous. And we think that it's critical that our students right here in Brevard see that Brevardians can make a huge impact on a just cause. It was the Moors who launched the first NAACP chapter in Brevard and helped register to vote 116,000 African Americans. And a big piece of that is we're asking for a mandatory field trip for all eighth graders to the Harry T. and Harriet V. Moore Cultural Complex. We're developing the curriculum to um, to include the Moors in our, in our studies uh, this summer and will be implemented next school year. We want to make sure that we don't miss this opportunity to elevate their legacy to who we are as a community, who we are as a country uh, due to their work. In Orlando, Carolina Cardona, News 6. Meantime, Florida Agricultural Commissioner Nikki Freed presented a cabinet proclamation today declaring January 18th Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day in the state. 